after high school would be to attend a college as a biochemistry major and then hopefully become a medical student and then become a plastic surgeon. My interest in plastic surgery came from laying in bed with my mother one night watching Discovery Channel and then seeing a, court, a case in where a young lady had been attacked by a man and it left her with an extremely traumatic experience and she, her whole face was scarred up and so she went to a plastic surgeon and he was able to restore her face to what it once looked like and it brought her so much happiness that I would just like to bring that joy to the world. I found out that I was going to be honored as Senior of the Month as I was walking to AP Government and Politics. I walked by Ms. Hogue and she just randomly said congratulations and I was like thanks but she said do you know what for and I was like not really and so she was like you won Senior of the Month and I was just like in complete shock because I had no idea that Ms. Condit even had recommended me for the honor and so just seeing that it was it was a great moment because I was like it, all my hard work is like finally paying off. I nominated Jordy because um, he really is a unique uh, student. He stands out in many ways, not just academically. Um, he gets himself involved in a lot of extracurricular activities. He's president of HOSA, which is our Health Occupation Student Association. Um, in addition, he also uh, always takes advantage of opportunities that are uh, afforded him outside of school, most recently attending the um, Hispanic Leadership Institute at University of Penn over the summer. And when I asked him how that went, his response was just spectacular in um, his learning, his, his experience, and what he took from it, and being around other Hispanic students who were all uh, like-minded, academic-oriented, uh, really looking to uh, change, change the world. And I just thought that his, his take on that was just something that I valued and I value uh, his, I guess, ability to really learn for the sake of learning and uh, his desire to want to make this place better. I'd like to thank, first of all, Ms. Condit for recommending me to, for this honor. I'd like to thank all my teachers, which have helped me become the student I am today and the scholar that I am. I'd like to thank Ms. Hogue for running this wonderful school that I've given me so many opportunities. And I'd like to thank my family for always being there for me, for supporting me, and for making me the man that I am today. I guess the thing that makes him most unique is how intelligent and hardworking he is and how successful he has been. And yet um, he has stayed very humble. And he gets many accolades uh, from teachers and classmates and he takes nothing for granted. He continues to work hard, he continues to put forth 150% effort, and to be a, a generous, gentle, kind young man um, in a world that doesn't always produce that. I wish Jordy all the best. I want him to know that he deserves every award that he gets and that um, we expect great things from him and I know that he will deliver.